I want you to be strong, Sheridan, and let me go. I don't want to live my life if I'm a vegetable. I don't want to have you trapped there beside me, holding my hand for the rest of your life, with no hope for the future. I want you to have the freedom to, to be able to go out and find someone else to love and live the rest of your life with and be happy with. So, Sheridan, my family, Mama, Luis, Miguel, Teresa, and Paloma, I wish you nothing but happiness. All the happiness in the world. No, we, wait, we can't listen to Antonio. He has to have that drug, Eve. I agree with Mama. All right, at least he'd have a chance, right, Dr. Russell? Well, it's an experimental drug, so we don't know much, but yes, I, I guess there's a chance he could be cured. Well, even if there's just a slight chance, we have to take it, because without it, he has no chance. Sheridan, now this decision is yours and yours alone. You're his wife, you're his next of kin. I don't know. I, I just don't know what to do. What do you mean you don't know? You're going to give your husband a drug that could save his life. Could even cure him. Ma. Ma, it's not that simple. Now, come on, you heard what Dr. Russell told us and what Antonio said. Now, if the drug doesn't work, he could end up in a coma for years. Antonio doesn't want that. Yes. But it could save his life, and we all want that. Of course we do. Her risks. I don't care. This is my son we're talking about. Your brother, Luis. We have to take any risks. We have to save his life. Eve, I'm Antonio's mother. Can't I give you permission to give him this drug? If he weren't married, Pilar, you'd be next of kin, but he is married to Sheridan, and the spouse has the final word. I'm sorry. 